Hi, I'm back here again and we are looking at chemical bonding. I hope you have uh, looked through my last video on how to analyze the different uh, boiling points. So look at the first question, uh, predict with reasons which of the following compounds SCl6 or SF6 has a lower vapor pressure means higher boiling point, okay? So the main thing is that higher boiling point. So remember the rule SF6 versus SCl6, we check the MR because this two compounds here actually simple molecular, right? So we analyze uh, SCl6 and SF6. So if you look at the periodic table, very obvious that the SCl6 has a larger uh, MR, right? So remember the rule, larger MR means larger electron cloud okay means more easily polarized therefore stronger okay I have to squeeze here ID ID forces of attraction okay so the first part done. So remember to watch my video. If you forget again, you revise through how do we analyze who has a higher boiling point. Okay, that's the first part. And then now we'll be looking at the shapes. Okay, so P we have PCL3, <coughs> PCL5, and POCL3, right? So PCL3 is actually, first of all, we do a rough work, PCL3, okay? So PCL3, we know that uh, P is in group 5, so 5 valence electrons. So of course, uh, we know that the main shape is actually tetrahedral because there is a lone pair here. Okay, Cl, Cl, Cl. So remember, the main shape is tetrahedral, but you remove uh, one bond pair, you put a lone pair there. So eventually, this is uh, one lone pair and three bond pairs means the shape will be uh, trigonal pyramidal okay so remember I watched the video on the VSEPR as well so uh, if you really forget how to draw look through the video one more time and then you must know how to draw this uh, shape okay next one will be PCL5 Right, so uh, for this case, P is group 5 again, 5 valence electron, and there are 5 chlorine. Chlorine form one bond. So, <clears throat> uh, P, Cl, 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 and Cl. So this is actually uh, no lone pairs, but 5 bond pairs. So the, the shape here is actually the trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, easy, because there's no lone pair, so we just look at all the bond pairs. Okay, and finally, POCL3, a bit more tricky. So uh, we need to know that uh, P is a central atom. Okay, P is a central atom. O form two bonds, because it's group six, and CL form one bond. Okay, so we do it this way. PO, right, CL, CL, and CL. Okay, so remember VSEPR theory it indicates that um, it indicates that double bond is considered one bond pair as well. So over here is there are four bond pairs, no lone pairs. So this is actually tetrahedral. So I say one more time, look through my video again if you forget. Ah, very important. Okay, so um, done. We are done with uh, part one. I mean A and B part 1. Finally, polarity. So how do we analyze polarity? We check the net dipole moment. Okay, so look at the first one again. Okay, let me change the color to red. Okay, now, so for example, this P over here, of course, Cl is more electronegative. So we put uh, delta minus, delta minus, delta minus, and delta plus. Right, 
So we know that there are three dipole moments. So there is a net dipole moment, right? So there is a net dipole moment. Means polar, right? It's polar. Okay, so for PCL3, remember it's polar. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, PCL5 and same thing again the same process delta minus okay so many uh, CL and P is delta plus and you notice that there is a dipole moment towards the CL okay I'm trying to squeeze over here and you notice that all five of this they cancel out each other okay so because they cancel each other uh, there is no net dipole moment right means it's non polar okay understand okay and finally we look at the last one p o c l 3 so delta minus again delta minus delta minus delta minus delta plus same thing we draw it Okay, because uh, it seems that there is no net dipole moment, but however, because um, the O right has different electronegativity as compared to the CL, so the dipole moment doesn't uh, all the moment dipole, dipole moments here they don't cancel each other totally. So eventually, there is still a net dipole moment. Okay means polar okay so this is um, this is the question so this is done as well so take note on the process that uh, I've explained to you right uh, from the first question A and B okay and if you forget same thing I will neck, I'll neck at you again go back and look at my videos to really understand and learn okay goodbye